Hey guys, in this video we'll go ahead and talk about uh, Gaussian elimination. I wanted to go ahead and do a, a difficult problem, kind of complex, um, just so you guys can get an idea. Because if you can do this one, then you can do all the other ones, okay? Um, and sometimes these get kind of tedious, so um, we'll go ahead and just kind of do just one of them. Alright, so we have our system here. And the good thing about matrices, uh, when you're doing these, uh, you're able to go ahead and, 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 and solve them rather quickly, okay? So if you notice, I go. I went ahead and set up my matrix. So I, I use W, X, Y, and Z. So first column is W. So 0, 1, 1, negative 3, negative 8. And all of these just corresponding. Now, the first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure, remember with Gaussian elimination, you want to have that, that nice diagonal here. And look at what I did. Right here, I put a Y. You want to have that, that diagonal to be a 1. Okay? And that's what you want. Okay, so this guy right here comes straight across here, this diagonal, you want it to be a 1, a nice, beautiful 1, and you want all these to be zeros. Okay, and the way you want to do this is there's an order to this, okay? So you want this guy here to start being a 1, and then everything else behind, uh, below it is 0. And then you, you continue with the next step. This guy's going to be a 1, and then make that into a 0, and then so on and so forth. Now, and then we do a row operation. So what we're going to go ahead and do first is... Um, before I do anything, I'm going to go ahead and switch these two rows. That way that this one becomes a 1. Okay, and then I really don't have to do much. So, this guy's going to become the top one. The top row, 1, negative 1, 0. And then we have negative 3. And then this guy's going to go be row 2. So, 0, 1, 1, negative 3. And then negative 8. Okay, and then this guy is going to stay the same. 3, negative 4, 1, negative 2, positive 3. And then I did it again. This one should be a 1, guys. Sorry about that. 1, 3, negative 5, negative 1, and negative 15. All right, so you notice at the top uh, left-hand corner, that one's already a 1. And that's what I want to do, okay? Now, from there, I want everything below this 1 to be a 0, okay? So... What you're going to be doing, and there's a specific order, okay? Now, just be careful. This guy right here, this is what we call your pivot. This is what you're going to be using in order to make these guys a zero, okay? And that becomes important because if you don't do it correctly, then it's, it, you're, going to, you're going to get the wrong answer, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and use this guy to make this guy into a zero and this guy into a zero, okay? Now, I'll just go try to go nice and slow, okay? Now, remember, this is my matrix, and do this guy right here okay so i'm going to go ahead and take this first row multiply by negative three and add it to this guy so what i'm going to do i'm going to take negative three multiply it times row one i'm going to add it to the third row and that guy's going to go to the third row okay so i'm going to go ahead and do just put negative three here and that guy is going to go right over there okay so this guy so negative 3 times 1 is negative 3, plus 3 is 0. So keep everything lined up. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Negative 6 minus 4 is negative 10. Okay? Negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3. 3 plus 1, that would give you 4. Okay? And then negative 3 times 0 is 0. 0 minus 2 is negative 2. Okay? And this is my augmented matrix. Remember, this is like my equal sign. Negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. 9 plus 3 is 12. So that guy goes over there. Okay, now everything else stays, right? This guy's going to stay 1, 2, negative 1, 0, and there's your negative 3. And then this guy's already a 0, which is nice. So 0, 1, 1, negative 3, and negative 8. All right. All right, now, actually, I'm going to go ahead and do another step here just in between. You notice here, this guy's a 1, right? I got to make this guy also a 0. So 1, 0, 0. I want all zeros here, okay, on this first column. So now what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to take a negative 1, okay? I'm taking negative 1, multiply by the first row, and I'm going to add it to the fourth row, okay? And I'm going to put it in the fourth row, all right? So now that we've done this one, right, we've taken care of this one, all right, I'm going to also take 
negative 1, multiply it times this first row, and that guy is going to go there, okay? And I'm more of a visual learner, so this helps me. I just kind of stay organized, okay? And I just go slow, because the last thing you want to do is redo this thing all over again. But negative 1 times 1 is negative 1, plus 1 is 0. Negative 1 times 2 is negative 2, negative 2 plus 3 is 1. Negative 1 times negative 1, that's positive 1. 1 minus 5 is negative 4. Negative 1 times 0 is 0. 0 plus negative 1, that's negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3. 3 minus 15 is negative 12. Cool. And there it is. Okay. Now, notice what I did. I used my pivot. I used this guy to go ahead and eliminate and make these all 0. Okay. Now, I go to the next one. And know how it, you notice how it's stepping down. We call this row echelon form. And I want to make all of these zeros, these guys over here, zero. And I want the nice, beautiful diagonal right here. I want this one, 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 one right here. Okay. So now I'm going to be using this guy right here. This is my, going to be my new pivot right here, this one. Okay. So I'm going to use this guy to make this guy into a, a zero. Okay. So what am, I, what am I going to do? I'm going to take the second row. Okay, row 2, and I'm going to multiply that guy by 10. And I'm going to add it to the third row. And I'm going to replace it into the third row. Okay, so this guy right here. So let me go ahead and write that. My matrix right here. All right, so this guy, my second row, I'm going to multiply him by 10. And that guy is going to go into right there. Okay, and just that visual hopefully kind of helps you. I just kind of organize everything. So... Uh, let's go ahead and write this one here first. So we're going to have 1, 2, negative 1, and 0. And then you have your negative 3. And then this guy's going to stay the same, okay? I'm not going to change this one. The one I'm changing is this guy, okay? So keep that in mind. I'm not changing the second one. I'm using the second one, but I'm changing the third row. So this becomes 0, 1, 1, negative 3, negative 8. So then, I'm going to change this guy, okay? 10 times 0 is 0, plus 0, that's 0, okay? 10 times 1 is 10, plus negative 10, that's a 0. 10 times 1 is 10, plus 4 is 14. 10 times negative 3 is negative 30, negative 30. I'm sorry, yeah, negative 30 minus 2 is negative 32. And then 10 times negative 8 is negative 80. Negative 80 plus 12 is negative, what is that, 68? negative 68 all right there it is all right so that's the one i changed so now this guy okay uh stays the same okay i'm just gonna go ahead and rewrite this that way i don't get confused so it's zero one negative four negative one negative twelve okay now remember you're just learning about these or maybe you made mistakes and you're like man how the heck do i do this okay so you're just, you're just gonna go ahead and continue doing it here okay so notice what I'm using. I'm using my pivot point to give, make the rest of everything in the bottom zero. Okay. So now we go ahead and continue. Now I got to make this guy zero. So I'm going to use what? I'm going to use my pivot. Okay. Could I use this guy? I, pro I could, but you're going to get the wrong answer. So you have to use this guy, your pivot. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do this guy. Let's go ahead and mul take this guy. Second row. Okay, row two, we're going to multiply them by a negative one, and we're going to add it to row four. And we're going to replace row four with it, okay? So I'm going to go ahead over here, put a negative one, and then this guy, put my arrow, put them right there, okay? So the one I'm going to be changing is the fourth row, okay? That's the one I'm going to be changing, okay? Everything else is going to stay the same. So let's go ahead and write this one, two, negative one, zero, negative three, zero, one, one, negative three negative 8, and then this guy is 0, 0, 14, negative 32, negative 68, all right. So now I'm going to multiply this guy by negative 1, add it to this guy, negative 1 times 0, that's 0, negative 1 times 1 is negative 1, plus 1 is 0, negative 1 times 1 is negative 1, negative 1 minus 4 is negative 5, and then negative 1 times negative 3 is 3. 3 minus 1 is 2, okay? And the last one, negative 1 times negative 8 is positive 8. 8 minus 12 is negative 4. Good, so now I have my, my new one. 
And you notice it's starting to look nice, right? Now, I go on, I go to the next one. I need this guy. This guy's going to be my new pivot. Okay, but for Gaussian elimination, you want that nice diagonal to be a one. Okay, you want that guy to be a one. Okay, so let's go ahead. What am I going to do? I'm going to molt. I'm going to take this guy. I'm actually going to divide him by 14. Yeah, I know it becomes a, a bit of a mess. So we can take row three and we're going to divide him by one by 14. And we're just going to keep it that way. Okay, all right. So the first two are going to stay, the last one's going to stay, this guy's going to just divide it. So I'm going to put 1, 2, negative 1, 0, negative 3, and then 0, 1, 1, negative 3, negative 8. And then this guy I'm going to be dividing by 14, so 0, 0, 14 divided by 14 is 1. Negative 32 divided by 14, so let me go ahead and do it over here, so negative 13, 32 divided by 14 okay you're gonna go ahead and divide by 2 and you're gonna get negative 16 over 7 okay so that guy's gonna be right here negative 16 over 7 okay and then same thing over here divide this guy by 14 you're gonna get negative 68 over 14 okay and that's going to give you, divide both sides by 2, up and down, you're going to get negative 34 over 7. Okay? So negative 34 over 7. All right? And then the last row, you're going to have the same 0, 0, negative 5, 2, negative 4. All right, guys? And there it is. Okay? Now, this is going to be my pivot, okay? I'm going to use this guy to make this guy into a zero, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and take the third row, row three. I'm going to multiply them by five, and I'm going to add them to row four, and I'm going to replace row four, okay? And I'll just go ahead and do it in my head. Uh, well, let's see. Just put a negative, uh, a positive five right here. Okay, that guy's going to go right there. Okay, so this guy's going to stay, okay? And I'm running out of room, but I'll try to fit it in. Zero, zero. 1, negative 16 sevenths, and then you have your negative 34 7. Okay. All right. So you're going to multiply this guy by 5, add it to this guy. And this guy is going to be 0, 0. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 minus 5 is 0. 5 times negative 16, that is negative 80. Negative 80 over 7. See, 50 and 30, negative 80 over 7. So negative 80 over 7 plus 2, okay? So negative 80 over 7 plus the 2. So 5 times this is negative 80 over 7 plus the 2. That means plus 14 sevenths. That's going to give you negative 66 sevenths, okay? I know fractions, but it's okay. We'll deal with it. And then 5 times negative 134, well, that's going to be negative 198. So negative 198, 7, and then plus, you can do a negative, plus the negative 4. Well, that's negative 28, 7. Well, if you add that, okay, you should get, no, I'm sorry. Uh, this is 150 and 20. 150 and 20 is negative 170. Plus a 28, that should give you negative 198. Okay, there we go. All right. And it's okay, just be careful with the fractions. Now over here, we can have same thing, 0, 1, 1, negative 3, negative 8. And then up here, 1, 2, negative 1, 0, and negative 3. And you can see right here, you're right, our nice zeros here. Now I just got to make this guy into a 1. So how do I do that? Well, I just multiply by the reciprocal. You're going to go ahead and multiply this guy by the reciprocal. And this guy is going to go ahead and become a 1. So we're going to have 0, 0, 0, 1. Remember, you're multiplying this guy. You're multiplying row 4 by the reciprocal, which is 7 over 66. Okay, just like that. Okay, that's what you're doing with, the, with row 4. All right. So this guy, you're multiplying this guy, row 4, by the reciprocal. So now you have this guy, you have to multiply by the reciprocal, so you have 
negative 198 over 7 times this guy, which is negative 7 over 66. Okay, so this guy's going to cancel out. And this is nice because negative times negative is a positive, and you should get 3. Okay. And then here for this guy, now we have 0, 0, 1, negative 16 over 7, negative 34 over 7. And then we just continue on 0, 1, 1, negative 3, negative 8. And then we got 1, 2, negative 1, 0, negative 3. All right, so now I have it in row echelon form. You see those nice ones right there diagonally across, and they have all this as well. Now I can go ahead and start rewriting my my uh, my system back again. I'm going to use these values. And if you notice here, this is w, x, y, and this is z. So z is going to equal to 3. So that's nice, and I can go ahead and just plug it in and use this guy. So let me go ahead and just rewrite my my system, okay? So my system now becomes... That 1 becomes w plus 2x minus y. The z is 0. Is it going to equal to negative 3? And then the second row, wx is 1, y is 1, minus 3z. That's going to equal to negative 8. And then wxy is 1, minus 16 sevenths. That's a z, and that's going to equal to negative 34 sevenths. And then the last one is just z is equal to 3. Okay? So if you notice, we can go ahead and use this guy right in there. Now, I know it's kind of tedious, but as you get into the higher mathematics, you're going to do a lot of tedious work. So you're just getting the hang of it. Just uh, don't be afraid. You're going to learn to go ahead and be good at this. So you use your mental math, negative 16 times 3, that's negative 48. Okay? Minus 48 over 7 equals negative 34 sevenths. And then bring this guy across. That becomes a positive. So y is equal to negative 34 sevenths plus 48 sevenths. Okay. And that's going to give you um, 14 over 7. And then 14 divided by 7. Well, yeah, that's easy. That's 2. So now you have z is equal to 3. Y is equal to 2. Okay, so now we go ahead and it becomes a lot easier now, right here. So now x, we're trying to figure out y, we just figured out it was a 2, and z, we figured out it was 3. And that's going to set equal to negative 8. And then so this becomes minus 9, 2 minus 9 is negative 7. x equals, that gives you the negative 8. So now x is equal to negative 1. So now I have x, y, and z. Okay, so now I just got to figure out that w. So w plus 2 times negative 1 minus the y. What's my y value is 2. And that's going to equal to negative 3. So 2, that's going to give you negative 2. Negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4. w minus 4 equals negative 3. So w is going to end up equaling to 1. So now w equals 1. x equals negative 1. y is equal to 2. And z is equal to 3. All right. And there it is. So it came out nicely. But what I want you guys to remember with these, okay, the way you do with the order is, is important. So what did I do? I made sure that the top corner was a 1, and then I used this pivot point to make these zeros, right? And then I used this pivot point, I used this guy to make everything else 0. And then use the next one, okay? And so on and so forth. All right, and that's the key to solving these, okay, guys? So hopefully it helps you out, guys, and I know it was uh, kind of tedious and long, but keep working hard.